What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we finished up everything to do in Wizard's Peak, and in this episode, we are going to be going into the boss level. Not before I heal really quickly, because I do have, like, no health. There we go. All right, now we can head on into Blowhard. Let's do this thing. Now, if you remember those uh, Whirlwind Wizards from High Caves, Blowhard is essentially just a bigger version of one of those. So, he'll be pretty easy to deal with. Um... Like, if I remember correctly, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but if I remember correctly, this was actually, like, the easiest boss level. Yes, even out of all the ones before it. So, again, don't want to jinx myself, but I do have, like, fond memories of this being, like, super, super easy going. Alright, hold on. Also, the way that these electrical guys are placed, it really is making them not all that much of a threat, if I'm being honest. So, there goes all those. And here is Blowhard himself. Just flame him one time. All right, get out of here, blowhard. All right, so let's follow him in this direction. Okay, we got a bunch of these guys we got to deal with. And actually, I'm going to jump down here for the first thing, because I do not intend to fall at all. Thank you. There we go. Put that up. Let's jump on this thing. No, no, get him. Thank you. Goodness, I don't know why that didn't even register at first. And right, we got ourselves a dragon here that we can rescue, and also a save point. Should mention that, by the way. I don't know if I've ever like made that clear, but these also act as like save points. So enemies you've killed before this point will not respawn. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal, and uh, neither do I. That is a really again? cool looking dragon. Um, I'm out of here. <laughs> I really like his design, though. That's awesome, with the feathered wings and the crystal ball and those crazy horns. Like it was just cool. Just a cool design. There's a lot of cool designs for the dragons, though, in this game. All right, send me back, because apparently you're completely oblivious of me. Thank you. There we go. Freaking the sounds they make when they die is hilarious. I blow hard. I'll be with you in just a second. I got to take care of everything over here. It's much more important. Thank you. All right, so that is it for that. Uh, there is 400 gems. That is, I think that's the most that we've had in a boss level just yet. Hi there, blow hard. I'm going to hit you again. Yeah, like, he really does not do anything, like, that's going to... That's going to, like, hurt you before you get to the point where he's at. So, yeah, this is not a very difficult boss level at all. I cannot believe I haven't even taken a hit yet. Right, give me my yellow gem. Thank you. All right, let's keep moving on up. We're actually getting kind of close to the end here. Hi, Blowhard. And goodbye, Blowhard. See? Easy, easy, easy boss level. Not a problem at all. And I am missing... Oh, exactly two gems. All right, so that is it for that level. Let's head on into Crystal Flight next. Okay, excuse me, sir. I need to get across this platform, and I really do not want to try to, like, precariously stand on the edge again this time. So let's make our way this way. Get all the way into Crystal Flight and do this thing. So as is the usual, I will be doing one attempt, and if I can't get it on the first attempt, we will be jumping immediately into um, my successful attempt thereafter. So that'll be fun. So I'm going to head in this direction first things first, try to get all these... Tre oh, that's that's probably a loss right there, just because I missed a treasure chest. That's a huge, that's a huge nope doing that every single time. All right, hold on, missing another one. Oh, go 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 go! Thank you. All right, we got that one. There is another plane here that I'm going to try to get. Got him. Okay, perfect. Now let's see if we can get through these gates as fast as possible. We also got some rings. I definitely missed another treasure chest over there. Let's go through the rings as fast as possible. Here we go. I might actually, I might actually still be okay. We'll see. I'm not placing any bets on it, but I might still be okay. Now, I think you also get like an achievement for using fire on all of the fairies that are holding arrows in this level. So just an FYI for anybody who is wondering about what achievement you would have in this level. I do not know where that last gate is. Well, this is, this is good. This is really, really good. Hold on, let's get these treasure chests before I look for that gate. Okay. Thank you. All right, we have one more gate to find. This has not been the cleanest run in the world, but I really don't know where that last gate is. Crap. Well, I might just have screwed that up for myself entirely on the fact that I missed a gate. Awesome. All right, so immediately start off by getting as many planes as you could possibly get. I'm going to get five right off the bat here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go after each of these treasure chests. After I get this one, loop around. All the way around. You can absolutely afford to waste that time. Um, and we're going to start getting all of these in a row. We're going to be intercepting the planes here again in a second. So let's 
just pause for a second and get those. Perfect. All right, so that is all of the planes done. Now let's loop back around and get these treasure chests. We just have one more left to get, and then we're going to be going through this gate and starting to go through all of those. The rings we can save for dead last. Now, I believe this was actually the gate that I missed last time, which, my bad. Um, next one is going to be right here. Just continue to follow this path. We're actually going the opposite way that the arrows are telling us, but I don't even freaking care, honestly. You know what? Actually, let's go through the rings next. We'll hit the gates afterwards because the rings are super easy, and they are actually kind of more in the path that I want to go. So we're going to hit this gate next, and then fly through these last four that are through this little canyon, and then we'll be done with this level. Awesome stuff, and with plenty of time to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And in the next episode, we're going to be heading on into Beast Makers. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all then.